All right, what's up guys? It's AMI Customs here. I'm gonna show you how to make an arrow port like this. This is actually the first one I've ever built. And this is what I did to make that port. And that's out of one single piece of PVC. It's not a flare and then a pipe glued in there. It's just all one piece. So I made a mold right here. And then um, I used a heat gun and a welding glove and then a file and I'll show you why you need all these things. So to make this mold, what I ended up doing here was I just cut a base uh, with my Jasper jig and that's about an eight and a half or nine inch circle, I believe. And then I cut four pieces of uh, birch with uh, my Jasper jig again, but these are the exact size of the pipe that I'm wanting to flare. So. Here's the PVC pipe. Now you want to make sure that you use this thin walled pipe. And here's the difference. This is the most of the pipe that you see at like Lowe's, Home Depot, a lot of the um, construction supply places. This is a lot easier to flare because when you heat it up, it will actually flex out and make the shape of the mold. So to make this piece, um, like I said, I cut the base so that way it has something to flare down against. And then these top pieces here are the exact diameter to fit inside the pipe. So the pipe just threads down on it like that. And now to make the actual flared part, which is the negative of the flare opening of the arrow port, to make this, what I did was I took a hole saw, a two inch diameter hole saw. So I took one of these and basically cut out another piece of MDF and the reason why I use two inch is because you want half of the radius of whatever size the diameter of the pipe is. So the inside diameter of the pipe is four inches so I want the radius of my turn in my arrow to be one inch which the diameter would be two so that's half of the overall diameter of the pipe that I'm using. So if you were doing a six inch you'd want an inch and a half so you'd want a three inch hole saw to make this flared part, if that makes sense. So what I did was I cut um, a piece of MDF with the hole saw, so I now I have a two inch disc, and then I putty Everglass on here all the way around, then use that as basically as a trowel to make that nice smooth arc all the way around. And I just pulled that piece, spun it like this, until it was nice and smooth, and then just let it dry, and now I've got my mold. So that's how I built the mold to use the wire to pipe. And this is the Everglass stuff right here. And the reason why I use Everglass and not Bondo is because this stuff's really, really strong. So it's going to take heat and take, you know, I can reuse this mold a thousand times over now that it's made. I just keep making arrow ports as much as I want. If I use Bondo, it's a little softer. It would probably crack with the heat from the heat gun. So with Everglass, it's not going to do that. All right, so now um, some people will just start right away, just start heating it up and start, basically you start, start pushing this down onto this mold. Um, but what you need to file for so it doesn't cut into this because the edge of this pipe is pretty sharp. Um, I'm just going to take the file and basically just kind of round off the inside part of this pipe so that way as I'm flaring it, it's not grabbing against my mold as something smooth to go against. Okay, now you might want to cut this down close to the length that you actually want for your tuning um, so it's a little bit easier. To push this onto the mold because if you got a real long pipe then you don't have as much to grab onto it's easier to just push on the top of the pipe than trying to grab it and push it down onto the mold so um and the other thing that i have that's nice is um, this is my recone tray where i recone all my subs at so it makes it real nice to just spin on um, heating it up and pushing down on it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna start heating it up and just keep spinning it So I don't focus the heat on one spot or you'll just start burning the plastic.
And I'm not even pushing down on it yet. I'm just trying to get it well soft. Now I'm going to start putting a little bit of pressure to it. And it's almost like once it gets to that point, you'll just see it just kind of, it'll just start to fall right down on there. See what it's starting to do right now? Another thing too is um, I want the flare to be just an inch of overhang past the pipe. So the green of the Everglass, that radius out, that diameter is actually six inches. So I know once I cover up all the Everglass with the flare, that I'm two six inches. Can I see how that's starting to bubble out right there? I've got too much heat there. So we'll stay away from that side a little bit. Come back to there. And see, sometimes I have to angle the heat gun where I put more heat down at the base instead of at the neck of the, the pipe. Actually, do that. Fold over on it. So. I'm just going to keep heating it up, making it warm. Going back on, and then what I did is I was lighting the lit and all this stuff. Now, so you, since you can make uh, a one-piece pipe, what you want to do is on the second end, once you figure out the length, you want to obviously add about an inch or so and cut the pipe there. And then when you go to flare that other end, you don't want to make it as, as large so that way it will fit into the box. This particular pipe right here is for this box right here. So. Come around over here. You see, this is actually just fresh painted, so I'll put it all in there. But see, that fits right inside the hole. And then the this flare is about a quarter of an inch larger all the way around. So I got something to bolt to to bolt that in. Alright guys, let me know what you thought of the video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, more how-to videos or just things uh, that involve building boxes or just any kind of question you guys may have that is related with car audio that you want to see videos on, um, just leave a comment in the comment section below on how to do that. And uh, I'll see what I can do for you guys. 
Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I wanna get it in your mouth.